Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we are going so in maze, we're so in maze under plastic. So me and bro, I'm in the 6499 with the Lemkin and bro's behind me in the 6290 we done up, steady Eddie's tractor with the Parahar. And Father Phil's coming up behind us with the fertilizer then as well. So we're gonna get ready for the maze. The contractor's coming at 10 o'clock to so. It's one of the only jobs we don't do ourselves as we don't have a maze drill that'll put under plastic. Also, we'll be working with gold crop on the seed varieties that we're using. We'll touch on that later on when we get the, the, the drill loaded up with the seed and we'll show you what varieties we're going with this year. We're also going to be going with seed without plastic, but that won't be put in for another two weeks, I'd say, to give it a better chance of hitting better weather so anyways we're going to be on down to the field same field as last year we'll be it on <laughs> look me and bro are matching outfits hey <laughs> farmer phil merch Stuart family farm in the description down below anyways a nice little plug for ourselves <laughs> but so what we're going to do now is we're going to get harrowing we'll start the bottom headlands that's where we'll start sowing but I'll get these unfolded. Also, the harrow was set up from when we done the beans. That was the last thing that was done with the harrow. So I'd set up to cover plow ground. So I shouldn't have to change any rudimentary. Maybe the top blink because we were at slurry since then. Uh, just on the state of the tractor, yes, it is very dirty. And that is because it's been flat out at uh, tankering. I don't think we've done as much tankering in the spring before, but a lot as down to covering a lot of tillage ground. We must have covered half the tillage ground. Yeah. I haven't been at any tankering at all. <laughs> I, I done. I think I done a day's. That's why there's been no video on tankering really. Nothing. Father Phil, Robert, and Bro have been keeping all of that done while I was plowing away. That's why the tractor started. We just there was no time. Tanker came off this morning. Harrow goes on. We were spreading sorry with yesterday. That's why it's dirty. But anyways, apart from the fact that things never change around here. So the field we're on now, same field as last year, we're putting in the covered maze and we got it soil tested and the soil test come back index 2 on board which is low so it's going to take a fair bit of fertilizer was the recommendation so what we've put out in this so far is about 3000 gallons of cattle and pigs that are mixed to the acre. We've also put out around 20 tons of dung, dung mark to the acre with about 150 tons and there's seven and a half acres in the pile. So the recommendations come back that we need to put out a further, yeah, just double double checking, right? 250 kilos of 18612 to the acre and 75 kilos of can to the acre, just for sowing. So to put that just into a cost perspective, assuming now i know the fertilizer we'll be putting out we bought for under a thousand a ton but assuming that you average 18 6 12 in canada a thousand a ton so that's a euro a kilo that's 250 euro for 18 6 12 put 75 on top of that brings you to 325 euro for fertilizer alone to establish the crop not to mention the diesel cost again apply anything else not even the seed that's quite quite a lot that's a lot so but what can we do? We have to try and get the, the crop to grow. We also have to put out between one and a half and two tonne of lime. So we're going out at Grand Lime um, because we just don't have time to put out the ground bulk lime or whatever you want to call it, ground lime. We're putting out granulated lime to try and compensate for that. The index was a little bit low, but not too bad. The beet field though is quite low and we're going to have to do a bit more on that. Beef is the one down there. Isn't it? Yeah, the beef field is the one down there. Next. That covers that. Um, we'll cover the sprays and the seed later on. But the main thing is now, get down to the bomb headland. I have to show Eric how to harrow in this because me and Liver are going away at the weekend. And Lucky. We need, I, he needs to know just in case he needs to do a bit. Even though he's not that confident in the 99. No. So anyways, just, no. we'll get in the tractor and we'll get harrowing. I have my own personalised window cleaner. I didn't, I thought it was just fogged up, but there's a, a scum of stuff on it. Must have been from the splash pit. Yeah, could definitely do with a wash, but. Have my own window cleaner. 
Don't know what I pay him that well though. <laughs> so now, I'm doing a bit of a test run there, so I made a few adjustments to the harrow. So now, the next thing, and bro, you pay attention now because this is what you have to do if you have to go harrow on. See, see, you need to press five, and it goes to this. Then you need to go down to where it says harrow and press on. And once that's on, all your presets are on here for pressing this button. So now you want to press one, change it to headland. Okay, so once you have headland, you press, make sure it's turned on here. That gives you your preset, so all you do is press the one button. Then press two, and then change two to, uh, which is it? Hitch? Yes, hitch. So then that turns on your, your draft control. So then press on on that, and then that helps work the draft control so when the wheel starts slipping and starts lifting the draft control so you don't have to worry too much about the draft control unless you're in wet ground that's when you have to lift it yourself so that leaves us ready to go so now bro everything is on this button here you're not watching this button here so I press it to go lift the harrow I press it again to go rev up the tractor I press it again to go rev it up I press it it goes down you can see what's coming next on the button so we get that off, we're going forward, and we get her up. So now you put forward. So we have to go again, head to cover into this field. Look behind us, see how it's going. And when you're her on foul ground, bro, the biggest issue you have is the her dragon clay. So the very front discs. You can't really see them from where you are, but every now and again you want to look over and see that the thing is going through and you're not dragging the dragon clay. That's the one thing. But to harness it up right, you don't have to worry too much about it. Point this way. You don't have to worry too much about it, bro. And it's, it's not bad there, though. It's doing a nice job. You can see behind, we're just leveling it off. All we're doing with the disc car now is kind of leveling it all up a bit. And then Father Phil's going to power her up with the 6290. Rose, go go to the next place we're going to sow. We'll be sowing in spring oats, and you're going to be harrowing that with the. Woo. You're going to be harrowing that with the, the four meter flat harrow, and then I'll be going on to this harrow once this thing is done. So that's that's really it, bro. There's not much more to it. Just keep an eye on it. If you start getting stuck, draft control. You know what the draft control does? Yeah, I've used it before. Yeah, you use the draft control. But if you're a little bit sticky, the Diatronics box should do it all. But that's doing, that's actually doing a very lovely job there behind us. So now, bro, when you're coming to the headland, when you're a nice bit away from it, press the button, press the button. And then it slows everything down, and then you turn around. Oh, so remember, you're, look how far back the arrow is. The arrow is very far back, and you will swing it into hedges. That's how one of the poles got bent, because it swung it into a hedge and got caught in a tree. Bravo, brother. So you just got to be very careful of that. And when you turn yourself around, you have different ways you can do it. I always turn around and then go back down the same track. Or um, go do it in, in stripes. Yeah, yeah. I just turn around and I go back down this track because I've left the furrow in the field once to be filled in. I hate those. Yeah, so we'll try and fill this in now with this run. So, normally bro, I just keep going round and round and round. What, in circles? Yeah. Ah, uh, so... Like just... going, going up, turning, going back down and just yeah, keep yeah. going round and doing it in, in islands. I always find that the best. We'll just drop that there. So now bro, it's a matter of pressing the buttons. Mm -hmm. So press the button, A, revs you up. Press the button, drops it down. You can see it drop down in that one there. And then off the front and away. And the disc car works on how fast you can go. So you, you normally travel in 3D or 3E. Well, I'm traveling B at the minute because I'm going across a rough bit, though I'm throwing her up too much. But the hair works on how fast you can go, and you don't go into F. If you go into F, it knocks off the four wheel drive. Okay? That's really it. There's not much else to it. So, we we'll put away the camera. And when we get all the machines working in the field, we'll fire up the drone, we'll do a little bit, and we'll show you the base. We'll get this track in. There's Father Phil now putting out the line. Or the granulated line, you can see the dust rising off of it. Oh, 
Sorry, it's reaction. That sugar paste, the ground line, but there is. We're flying away here, 12 kilometers an hour. Keep rooting away at this. So, bro is after playing a blinder. I know we kind of finished me showing him how to do it. And then I to go, we had some cattle going to the factory, so I to go home and get them sorted. We left it, bro, harrowing. And I come back and he's finished. He's it all done. Good job, bro. Uh -huh. Both headlands done, yeah? What do you mean, there and there? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, bro. When I, when I was finishing that corner, I did the headlands when I was doing that, I did that. Job done. Good job, bro. Uh -huh. So that's the maze field. This, this carrot, so now all it needs is the power horn. The contractor isn't coming till dinner time, and father, he doesn't want the power horn done only in front of him. So Father Phil's gonna come up with him when he comes and we'll try and catch up with him in the yard when he's filling up with the seed and the spray and go through that. And then try and get some drone fudge in that in the field. I was hoping there could still be harrowing or I'd have a bit more harrowing to do to get a little bit more footage of that for this video, but it's done. Time. It's done, he has it done. So me and bro are heading to the next bit of ground where we're going to be mini tilling a bit and oh, sewing a bit but that's going to be for another video because we'll concentrate this video is about the maze then there'll be another video about the mini tilling and putting in the drill and what we're doing there so we're going to head off with that we'll catch up with the maze hopefully with the contractor filling into the cedar and some drone footage then of everything going on here hopefully anyways get up and start that so we can fold it up and we'll bait on to the next field and we'll catch up with the contractor in the yard So, the contractor is here and they're just loading up the plastic there. As I said, I was going to show you the seed that we have. We have two varieties going in to the covered maze. Uh, big thanks to Gold Crop for sponsoring today's video. They have provided us with the seed and we're going to be trialing it. We're going to be seeing, they've all, we've other seed in there as well, I'll show you. But for going underneath the plastic, we have Feedy Top which is the variety we used last year and we got on fantastically well. You, you seen the results of the Verstart content was massive. A very popular uh, seed in Ireland. It's been on the department's recommended list since 2017 and it's always given pretty good performance. We also have the other variety we have going in is Foxtrot, which is a relatively new variety. It's dual. The trial's done on us so far. Even without plastic, both have come back very good it's high starch and high yield in the trials to date It'll be interesting to see how it works with, with us now in longford so we'll be sowing our feedy top and our fox track side by side trying to split the field in two if we can so there's one side is feedy top the other side is fox trot so we can get a good view of how the two varieties how perform against each other something on the department of agriculture's recommended list the higher the dry matter the earlier the mature and the variety and the reason you always go for the earlier maturing variety especially in this part of the country is an earlier maturing variety has an earlier harvest date which gives you that better chance of either getting it cut without it getting too wet or you just kind of that's what you go for the longer maturing varieties tend to have a higher yield and a higher starch content but it's to get that balance right so that's Feedy Top and Foxtrot. They're both early maturing varieties and it'll be just interesting to see how they go. So they're both going in. We also have three varieties of seed to go in uncovered. On the varieties we're sowing uncovered or without plastic, we're sowing Ambition and Saxon. And if memory serves me right, it'll be taken out if I'm wrong, Saxon is one uh, is a very new variety which in trials is shown extremely positive result extremely good results for uncovered if you want to learn more about the maize varieties gold crop have an offer there will be a link in the description down below so you can check them out check to see how they've performed in the trials to date but i think it was saxon was the one we were told is the real the the, the, the real trailblazer when it comes to the uncovered maize variety a big thanks to gold crop also, the sprays that's going in is Claris and Clara, Aqua Stomp. Stomp Aqua. Stomp Aqua. So they're the two sprays that are going in as a pre-emergent spray. So hopefully we'll get to show you that. So we'll get uh, your man loaded up with the seed. 
and um, I think they're going so Fidi top in the bottom half of the field and Foxtrot in the upper half of the field I think is the plan so yeah that's the story with them if you're interested check out the link in the description down below just the Fidi top So it's going in at 42,000 seeds to the acre. Okay, yeah. Must be the big mouse. Okay. Also, for those of you wondering, we're not putting on biodegradable plastic. We're using the, uh, it's not U, it's UV, whatever, U, not UV stabilized plastic. Um, that's what's going on to the, the crops. So it's, I think it's the last year we can use it. It's, it's on the way out. That's why we're trialing the uncovered maize because we want to see is it viable to continue growing it so we're not caught with one crop with having uncovered and not doing well we'll still have a good crop of maize hopefully in in the what's covered so yes yeah, gonna be interesting to see but anyways we get organized and um we get ready to go back up to the field so He's heading off up to the field, so we're going to throw in our four bags of fox trot for when the feedy top runs out. And all should be good. I also have to get two butts of rolls from last year, just to have, just in case. He doesn't think he has enough, does he? No, he would. He shouldn't have enough. Shouldn't have enough. All right, so we have to get the two butts of rolls. Four bags. Happy out. So we're up in the field, Father Phil. It's just going across there with the 6218 the power hour to start um, power hiring in front. Literally just in front of me and Liv are going across in the Jeep to pick up a few stones. The joys of missing the 6480. But I think Robert is taking into it in the next uh, week or so. Uh, Father Phil was on about it. So we will have it sorted but just not in time. So we're just going to drive across, pick a lot of stones. We get a lot of footage and uh, get the drone up later on. So yeah. We'll pick a few stones. Yeah. There's the fertilizer too. He has it all put out. Yeah, in, in a way, it's probably no harm that they've banned it. No. <laughs> because it I always thought it was biodegradable, but it's not. It's the thing called microplastics. So it's probably not the best thing but in the world. But um yeah, it dries about. Anyways, we'll pick a lot of stones. So you can see the job the power hire is doing, even a nice lovely seed bed. And the maze is going in there, lovely. So it is. So there's pre-emergence spray, the Calaris and Stamp is sprayed under the plastic on either side of it. And that is a great job, so it is. So I'm gonna stand out of the way now. Pretty cool how that works. So I'm gonna go back arrow now. We'll fly the drone over later on. We'll go into the field a bit. So the 6290 looks here, here as well. So two things just on, on last year. We did have some of the plastic kind of blew away. That was because there was a lot of stones. This year we didn't blow up half as many stones, even though we did pick quite a few. I don't know, can you see them? emptied them out during the headland but there isn't as many stones as not as windy so we should have a lot more plastic or we shouldn't have as much as as much plastic goes missing so be interesting to see all the same so yeah we'll fly the drone and we'll finish up later when the field is finished that's the maze going in seven and a half acres of maze
are back up here. It's the next day. The maze is sewn. It's all done. Plastic in and a right job. You, as you can see there, there's basically none missing. So big, big improvement on last year. That's just the lack of sewns. And that's just very, very, yeah, very, very happy with it. So that's the maze in. That is the maze in. So there's not much more to say except for sometime around the middle of October, all going to plan, we will get cutting it. It is an expensive crop to grow, especially this year with the price of fertilizers we touched on at the start of the video. But the price of buying in maize, first it's growing it, it is one of them six of one, half a dozen of others. So hopefully, like last year, it'll work again for us this year. But all we can do is live and hope that we have a good, another good maize year. So. If you're interested in learning more about the varieties of maize that Gold Crop have an offer, there'll be a link in the description down below. And that is it from me. Good luck. And we'll see you in this field again in the middle of October. Hopefully cutting maize, that's the height of the harvester.